Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I have some exciting news to share with you. If you've been um, subscribed to this channel, you've probably seen that I talk quite a lot about investing in easy properties. And um, today I'm super excited to share with you that I finally received my first dividend payment. I've received a lot of emails and DMs and even YouTube comments of people asking when will I receive my first dividend payment. There's no other video on YouTube where they explain when you will receive your payment or actually proof of someone that received a dividend. Today I'm super excited to share with you how much I got paid, when um, I first invested and how long it took before I received my first dividend payment and what you can do to find out when you will receive your first payment. So I'll jump to my screen and share with you guys the exact details of my investment on Easy Properties. Another thing is most people that watch my YouTube videos aren't subscribed to my channel and this is quite sad so please subscribe to my channel. There's two properties that are invested in and I've only received dividends for one of the properties and that property is the exchange lofts. So here we can see the purchase value was 1,946 Rand and 62 cents. I actually tried to invest 2,000 Rand, but the platform calculates the available shares and only invest a certain portion of your, um, your investment that you wanted to invest. When I click on this, here it shows me the number of shares that I own, which was purchased for one Rand per share. And the awesome thing about this specific property is when they re-evaluated the property, meaning when the IPO was closed, they, they valued it for more than I actually purchased it. So I'll get back to that. And that's another way that you can earn money from this platform. So... We want to talk about the rental dividend and here it actually shows the amount that I received which is 21 Rand and 80 cents. Just remember you get paid a dividend every quarter or um, basically four times a year. So I'll probably be receiving a similar amount um, three other times during this year. So uh, the funny thing is there's always fees that gets deducted from dividends. So you get charged with um, a platform fee as well as dividend withholding tax. I just wanted to add the first time that I invested in Easy Properties was 6 May 2021 and it took about 9 months before I received my first dividend payment. This is just a bit of background information and I hope it helps. What I'm going to do is I'm going to show you guys my transaction history. And here, here it shows me yesterday, no, that's two days ago, I received the dividend for the exchange lofts and here it shows 27 Rand and 25 cents. But obviously at my properties, it only shows that I received 21 Rand 80 cents. And this is one thing that we need to understand that there's always extra costs involved. And here it shows you exactly that I was charged with dividend withholding tax and this is something that we need to pay and the cool thing is that the platform deducts it already. That is an excess of 20% which equals to 5 Rand 45 cents. So then they deduct that amount from 27 Rand 25 cents as well as a platform fee of 3 Rand 30 cents. And then we ended up with the rental dividend of 21 Rand 80. So that doesn't sound like much and um, it is not a lot of money, but it's a great way to earn passive income. This 21 Rand 80 um, results in about 5.45% um, from the purchase value. In other words, the rental yield um, is around 5.5%. The, the prospectus of this property estimated a rental yield of 6.2%. So this is obviously lower than what I expected, but this is something that we need to understand when we are investing in property. There's a lot of variables that can change the rental income that we receive. Stuff like repairs and maintenance and vacancy that we need to account for 
and um, I actually own real property and I understand the process of the expenses that needs to be deducted from your income before you can actually get your net rental yield. So this is something that we need to take in account and we just need to understand that we have to have a small margin for error and um, this will ultimately um, help you to digest the income that you receive a bit better and um, obviously they'll say you get 6.2 percent and now you get 5.5 percent and suddenly you feel disappointed but it's something that we need to take in account when investing in property with that said another thing that i want to show you guys is although i only received 21 rand 80 as a rental income the value of this investment is 2185 rand and 36 cent so this is much more than i invested in Initially, and that's another way that we can make money through this platform and it's called a valuation game so this is when when I purchased this property I paid one rand per share and after they evaluated it again it was valued as one rand 12 cent per share so my purchase value turned from 1946 cent to 2185 rand and 36 cent so this is already a gain of around 12%. I think I can actually see the exact amount of the valuation gain. I'm not sure where exactly to find that now, but when I go to my app, I can see that the amount um, that I received or the valuation gain that I received was 12.26%. I'm going to show it to you. Hopefully this camera focuses. Um, otherwise I'll cut to a different shot so that's quite cool so basically what we can do is we can plus the 5.5 percent rental yield plus 12 percent which equals 17.5 percent and this is what is called your internal rate of return this is a combination of your rental yield as well as your valuation gain so technically we are receiving a return on investment of 17.5 percent and that's quite crazy to think about because you can invest in something do the work once off and just sit back and wait for the money to come so a question that i've received quite a lot is people that's asking me when will i receive my dividend when do i get paid i've been waiting waiting and waiting for a payment to be made and nothing is happening to this money so let me show you guys what we can do to see when we will be paid so when you log into your properties you see this tab that I'm on now you can go to calendar and it shows dividend calendar when I click on the dividend calendar it takes me to a different page where it shows you the upcoming dividend payments obviously 2022 the, the first payment was made on 20 February 2022 and this is the payment that I've received now. So if you invested in a certain property that is scheduled for these payments, you would have received a dividend as well. The next one is 20 May, then 20 August and 20 November. So that's four payments in one year. In other words, you get paid quarterly. When we scroll down, you can actually see the next payment for your specific property. So like you guys saw, I'm invested in the exchange loft, so I know when I will receive that pay payment, and then I'm invested in 4 on O. So when I scroll down and I go to 4 on O, I can see the next payment will be made 20 May 2022. So this is exciting because now I know when to expect the payment. And I don't have to worry about when I will receive that payment. Now I know that my money is working for me and I can just sit back and wait for my passive income. With that said, thank you guys so much for watching. Again, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please subscribe, like this video, hit the notification bell so that you can get notified when I upload new videos similar to this one. Hopefully this content helps you a lot. Um, I put in a lot of effort and I want to share my progress with you guys and I want us to learn together. Let me know down below how you feel about this platform. I've received messages from people with mixed emotions but finally I can show you guys that you do get paid dividends and it's exciting to know that we can receive money in a passive way without doing too much work. Thank you guys so much for your time and I'll see you guys in the next video.